start creating our vector artwork of our organic patterns. Okay, so firstly what we need to do is create an A3 document in Illustrator. Okay, so I'm just going to click New, Create, and wait patiently, and there it is. So what we want to do is to place our photo of our three chosen organic patterns. Okay, so I'm just going to go under File to Place. Waiting for my computer to catch up. And I'm going to place my photo. Okay, so pretty happy with that. I can just move it wherever I like. And I'm going to call this layer. So if you haven't got your layer window open, you can find it under your windows. Um, down here, layers. Okay, uh, I'm going to call this a photo, and I'm going to lock. Um, firstly, I will make it transparent. So I'm going to go to my transparent window. Okay, uh, again, you'll find that under Windows in your main menu, and I'm going to make this 50%. Uh, just so it's a little more faded back, and that way, when I draw my black line work over it, um, I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to lock that layer and then I'll create a new layer again. So I'm um, hitting that plus new layer at the bottom and we'll call this one artwork. Okay, so we want to work on top on this um, artwork layer. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Over here in our little colour palettes, I want to make sure that the fill is on none. Okay, that way when I am drawing, I'll actually be able to see through what I'm drawing. It won't be filling it as I go. All right, so firstly, um, what we want to do is we need to create vector artwork for all three of these. Okay, and now I'm not going to do them all because I'll be here forever, um, or for at least a long time. So you'll all fall asleep with boredom. So what I'm going to do is just show you, um, choose one of them. Okay, and then I'll just show you um, what to do at, at the end. Okay, so first I'm going to select my pen tool and I'm going to go up, I'm going to hold my command and my shift bar, I'll get the magnifying glass and I can just zoom in. Okay, um, so I think I'm going to choose to do my fossil. So I've got my line tool. Now this is all about what you've just learned in your tutorial. So I'm going to click and drag, get, some can get little handles and we're going to come around here and where the curve starts to change direction, so it's gone down and now it's, it's flattened off. That's where I'm going to put a point and I'm going to drag, okay, my handles. Then I'm going to go up again until I think that the line is changing direction, around about here, and click and drag. And again, up here, it's around about there where it changes direction, okay, click and drag. You'll see that it's following the curve quite nicely. If it doesn't follow it nicely, don't worry, we can go back and change that, okay. Um, we can, because we know how to do that by altering the handles at the end. So click and drag, okay, click and drag, click and drag, okay. So you're getting, actually getting a really nice little spiral pattern here. Okay, so remember to get, to unselect this line, we can hold our command key and click away. All right, now I'm going to make that a little bit heavier so that I can sort of see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to make that maybe three point, okay? Um, you'll also see that when I deselect that, if I go up close, see how the line has got like a square end on it? I can actually make that a curved end, okay? By clicking on that little curved end icon here in the cap, okay? Um, it just is sort of helps to take away the blockiness, I guess. Okay, now I just want to alter some of these um, handles. Okay, so I'm going to just hold my command key. Okay, um, and then I can just bring that handlebar in. You'll notice that when you change, alter the handlebars, they sometimes can alter the one on the other side. Okay, so it's a little bit of a, of a to, toing and froing. Okay, to make sure that you get your line work exactly where you want it okay so you might alter one and then you've got to go back and alter something else okay but i'm pretty happy with where that's looking at the moment okay so the next thing i want to do is these lines here 
Okay, so I'm going to go again, click. Uh, I could go click and drag, but if I just, because it's only one, two points I'm doing, the top, the first and the last one, I can just click, I could click and drag like that, and then over here like that, okay? Or as you just saw what I did the first time, I clicked, and then I went over to my last place, and then I just dragged that last one. Okay, and always remembering to hit the command key to release that line and click away. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and pretty much I'm just going to follow all this all the way around. Now, I don't, I'm not going to bore you to tears, okay, um, because you'll fall asleep. I don't want that to happen. Um, so you can sort of see what I'm doing here. Um, it's following around. It's pretty basic stuff. What isn't basic is learning how to actually use that pen tool. Okay, so that's just one little part that I'm going to show you. Now, I'm actually going to move on to one of my other ones. So I imagine I'm going to continue that all the way along. Okay, what I might do here is show you this, this leaf because this leaf's a little bit different in the fact that we're going to be having a point up here. Okay, we're going to need to change direction. So just like what you did in the tutorial, it would be the same sort of thing. So we're going to start down here. We're going to go click and drag. And I just want a fairly straight, clean curve. So I'm just going to do one point at the top and I'm going to drag that out. Okay. Now, because I want it to change direction here, if I go like this, it's going to lose the point at the top and it's going to create a curve. I want to have a point at the top. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to hold command, click on that, and then drag down my handle. Okay. Um, I might put a few extra points in this one because this, the way I've drawn this line, it's a little bit more uh, wobbly than the very first one. Okay, so I'm just clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging, okay, down to here. Um, and I can just go across, hold the shift, go across and close off that path. Okay, then later on when I go to use this artwork, um, I can as easily just fill that shape. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is look at the veins okay so up here i'm just going to go click and down here click and drag and i'm holding if i go back to that point if i hold command i can grab hold of that handle and alter it okay and then these sidewards veins i'm just going to make them um all one line okay on each one so i'm going to go click down to the center click and drag Okay, I'm going to change direction. I, I want a point. I want a sharp edge, not a curve on that um, this point here. So I'm going to hold down um, op. I'm going to hold down command or option. Okay, and sorry about that. And click and drag. Okay, let's do it again up here. So I'm going to go down here. It's got my handle. I've clicked and dragged. I'm going to go option. Okay, click option and. Then I can click and drag, okay, and it's actually changed direction here and given me a point as opposed to a curve. Again, I click, I'm going to hold and drag, I'm going to go option, click in the centre of the point, and then back up here, hold and drag, okay. Last one, there, down to the middle, click and drag, hold option into the centre of the point, change the direction of my handles, and click and drag and to stop that now I can just hold command and click away okay so that's pretty much given me my leaf pattern now if I turn um, off the photo layer you'll sort of see my artwork now sort of developing okay so what I might do is um, you can choose to either put a border around yours or not I'm going to put a border around mine okay um, and again here so obviously these aren't finished, but I'm um, finished enough for the time being. So I'll turn that photo layer off. So what I'm effectively going to have, I'll turn that back on and I'll just draw for a guide my square across that one, which I haven't completed yet, haven't even started. Okay. Um, so basically my file is going to look like this. I'm going to have three panels with um, my organic patterns in vector artwork. Okay, and then what we need to do once we've um, presented it to the group and we will get some feedback from everybody, um, myself and, and your fellow students, 
And then what I need you to do is on this page add an extra text file, text panel. Sorry, I've got the spinning wheel. Okay, um, a text panel here. And we're just going to go feedback. Okay, um, I might just make that a little bit bigger in point size because I can't really see that. Okay, um, and then here, um, list of feedback, you know, um, um, good use of, you know, the teacher might have said um, good use of um, line tool work, okay. Um, you might find that you've, you've got four or five different bits of feedback that you can add there, okay. And then I need you to create another text panel and this one you're going to call reflection. Okay and in here I want you to add a reflection of how did you go throughout this whole process. What did you find? Did you say um, you know um, I learned um, a lot about um, oh I can't even spell I learned um, a lot about um, changing direction of the lines um, you could say something like um, you know things that you found difficult um, things that you enjoyed did your patterns end up reflecting the way your drawings were um, originally because sometimes when we create vector artwork sometimes you can might lose a bit of that sort of um, fluency of the expression of your actual pencil line work um, or your pen line work. Okay, so just a reflection on how you went um, with this whole unit. Okay, and that is it. And so when you go to um, submit this work, you'll be submitting this AI file, okay, this Illustrator file, all right, into Brightspace. Okay, thanks guys.